Crescent and our residents nearly two years ago through a project with Hahnemann Hospital's Independence Starts Here mural. Hahnemann asked John to create a seven-story mural depicting people of very varying ages, abilities, races, genders, and backgrounds for the side of the hospital, and John included our residents in the creation of this mural. John was able to bring life and excitement to our residents' eyes. He ignited a passion in them that lives on today. Our residents not only were able to provide insight for the mural, but John allowed them to work on pieces of it. He provided endless support and encouragement to our residents that made them feel successful and accomplished. And soon they were bragging to their friends and family about being a part of this project economist. Eventually, because of the popularity of John's enrichment program, he broadened the scope of his involvement with Park Pleasant by bringing his students from the University of Pennsylvania to share in the lives of our residents. The residents were able to sh then share their wisdom and life experiences with the students, and friendships began to form. Together, the students and residents created more than beautiful works of art. They, they created lasting relationships. Don and his students and the residents collaborated on murals that would decorate the walls of the residents' home, the walls of Park Pleasant, with the stories and experiences of their lives and of Park Pleasant's history. We held a mural arts day in the community that brought together over 250 people from ages 4 to 94 to create and paint our beautiful murals. The residents were so enthusiastic to be such a part of an awesome project. Actually, the oldest age was 100, who I got to stand next to the resident while he was painting his part of the mural. It was very exciting. After the success of the community day, community day, John launched a new project to meet with the residents in small groups to create self and staff portraits with the residents. Residents were challenged to rise above disabilities such as more poor motor co coordination or loss of sight to create their artwork. Nothing could keep our residents from meeting with Don each week, and that determination was evident in the outcome, which you can see examples of you know, throughout the room here. Um, to display our residents' artwork, we held art shows at a local Philadelphia restaurant. The annual art show is now one that Park Pleasant and its residents look forward to each year. It's a tradition that continues to grow and flourish. Most talented artists like Don would not see a nursing home as a place of discovery, but because he took the time to look at our residents for who they really are, Don discovered talented, witty, powerful, and wise elders and helped them to see this in themselves. I am so honored that Don Gensler was chosen for the 2009 Better Life Award. Opportunity, uh, I was really kind of taken aback that I was nominated for an award, um, and I, I really want to thank um, Sarah and Tiffany and Nancy at Park Pleasant for, for, for you know thinking of me in that way. Um, and I also want to thank uh, BHCA for, for for giving me this award today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, when when we started working there, I, I really had no idea that we would keep continuing, uh, but I, I just, I want to tell you about something that happened probably um, maybe about six months ago. I was working with one of my, one of the residents, uh, Marie Kennard, um, who when we started the project, when I brought in my class from Penn to, to collect their stories and, and start working on this uh, mural project there at Park Pleasant. Um, she was 94. So she turned 96 and um, some of her eyesight was failing. Well, quite frankly, she's, she's really blind at this point. Um, but it really doesn't matter. Um, because the fact of the matter is, we're painting there every week and we're sitting down and we're together and we're doing something 
that's meaningful to me and meaningful to her. And then ultimately, um, when we go, you know, into the community and we put the work up, it's meaningful to other people. And Miss Kennard came in one day to class, and the glaucoma is starting to set in. And I said, you know, I, I just don't. I'm not doing this well, and you, you, you just don't need me here. And I said, you know, you, you really don't have a choice at this point. <laughs> I said, you're invested. You, you have to come every Thursday. I mean, we've got our class. And I realized, I mean, I was saying those words, but at the same time, I hadn't realized that I myself, like, was really invested. I mean, I was kind of going through the motions. I was doing it. I was doing the class. When what seemed you know right, everything was falling into place. But I didn't realize that until really I had that discussion with Miss Kennard that yeah, I'm invested, and um, and that was something pretty powerful. So um, I just want to you know encourage all of you um, to uh, if it's possible allow other people in your community to be invested in working with um, the elders. Um, uh, and uh, and people with disabilities and whoever might be at the nursing home, uh, because it is something that it might even sneak up on them. They may not even realize it at first what they're doing, but eventually it's something powerful and something lasting. Thanks.